Boost Your Speed in Premiere Pro using this top 10 keyboard shortcuts. Using the mouse or the trackpad to work in Premiere Pro can become a very counterproductive and frustrating experience. Watch this video and start implementing the use of the keyboard into your workflow. Before we move on with my top 10 picks, let's see how we can find and customize keyboard shortcuts. Go to Edit and select Keyboard Shortcuts. Keyboard Layout Preset is set to Premiere Pro default. You can find the command you want by either typing its name in the search bar or by searching through the command list below. You can assign shortcuts by clicking in the shortcut column and pressing the key you want. If a shortcut is already used, a warning will appear. Now, after you assigned a new key, the layout changes the name to custom. You can go to save us and give it a name. If you made a mistake and you want to roll back to the default, just click here and you can choose from the available profiles. If the way you make a cut looks like this, Then Add Edit will become your favorite shortcut. Simply press the shortcut where your playhead is to make a cut. A useful command to use along with Add Edit is Select Clip at Playhead. Instead of using the mouse to select the clip you want, use the shortcut. A simple but yet very effective way to speed up your workflow. Another great shortcut to speed things up is Rip Delete. When you delete a clip, there is a gap left behind and most of the time you drag the clip to the left to fill the gap. Rip Delete does that for you. If you want to delete a clip and leave your timeline intact, then use Clear command by simply pressing Delete. Most of the time, we drag the clips we have in our library straight into the timeline. A better way is to make the rough cuts inside Source Monitor using Mark In and Mark Out commands. Simply load your video in Source Monitor, hit Play and then press I for your starting point and O for your ending point. Now, when you import the video, it will be only the part you selected. A great addition to mark in and mark out is to use insert and override commands. This way you insert your clips straight to the timeline, where your playhead is. With insert, any clip in the timeline is moved to the right. With override, part of the clip that already is in the timeline and overlaps with the one you import is deleted. When we edit, we zoom in and out constantly. Using keyboard shortcuts is essential. Another great addition to the standard zoom in and out commands is zoom to sequence, where you can see your whole sequence at once. If you want to navigate the timeline with your keyboard, use subtle keys. Pressing the keys multiple times, you can increase the playback speed. Premiere Pro has a lot of windows and you switch between them all the time. Instead of using the mouse, assign a number for each window you use to cycle between them faster. Another great little shortcut to use along is maximize or restore active frame. That way you can maximize the window you're working on instantly. Using the arrow keys can help you navigate the timeline with precision. With left and right shortcuts, you move one frame. With up and down, you move at the start and the end of a clip. If you want to go to the start and the end of a clip, it is not placed in an active track, use shift plus the arrows. These were my top 10 picks. I hope they will help you speed up your editing. If the video helped you, like and subscribe. Also, if you have any useful shortcuts to suggest, write in the comments below. See you next week.